Hi. Oh. Whoops. Hey guys, it's me and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to grow your faith and build a relationship with Jesus. I've listed a bunch of things that I do that has helped me so much in growing my faith and I'm just going to share them with you guys to hopefully help you guys grow your faith as well. Number one, to grow your relationship with Christ, you need to know your Bible. That is the most important thing because there are so many false teachings and misconceptions about Christianity out there. It's easy to twist scripture, take verses out of context, and make it fit your own agenda. So you need to read the Bible on your own over and over again, especially the Gospels and the whole New Testament. The devil wants you to be deceived by all these false teachings. The gate to heaven is narrow. So if you're going to church, listening to sermons, make sure that they're aligning their words with scripture. And the only way to do that is to know your Bible and to read it. A lot of times we say, God, speak to us. And we're like waiting for some miraculous sign. But God has already spoken to us. If you just read your Bible, you'll get your answer for pretty much anything and everything. So if you're ever struggling with something, read your Bible. Number two, humble yourself before God and acknowledge that God is the creator and we are his creation. And God doesn't owe us anything. I see a lot of people on social media and comments like, oh, God doesn't love me because he didn't give me this or didn't give me that. That is very, very arrogant to think that because God knows what's best for you and God wants what's best for you. You may think you know what's best for you, but you really don't. Just because God doesn't give you everything you want doesn't mean he doesn't love you. It's just, it's the same thing as like a parent knowing what's best for a child. It's the same thing with us and God. So we need to humble ourselves and realize that we may think we know what's best for us, but we really don't. And once you start to realize that, then your whole life and perspective to Christianity will change. Number three is to seek God. Seek after him and set the intention that you want to grow closer to him and pray. And that leads to number four. Pray about everything and just talk to God regularly throughout the day, whatever it is that you're doing. If you're about to eat a meal, say thank you. Thank you, God, for this meal. Like, I am so blessed to be able to just eat and just be thankful for every small thing in life. Because when we have things right at our fingertips, we often take them for granted and we only realize how blessed we were until they were taken away. And when you have food in front of your table and you have a family that loves you, we take it for granted because we just have that. So be thankful for God for everything because every good thing comes from God. And if you're going through something hard, just talk to God about it and cast your burdens on him because he will sustain you and he will help you. You just need to submit all your problems to him. And whenever you make a decision or do anything, just talk to God and say, what does God say about this? What would God think about this decision right now? Now, number four is to glorify God in everything you do, to realize that the only reason you're able to do this is because of God. Glorify God in your workout. Praise him for giving you the strength to be able to move and take care of your body. Glorify God when you're doing something you're good at, like painting something. Glorify him for giving you the gift of being an artist. Number six, follow a daily Bible reading plan. You can make your own or you can find one online. And following a Bible reading plan can be really helpful because a lot of times before you read, you're like, hmm, what book am I gonna read today? And you just waste a lot of time by just deciding what book to read, looking up, what book should I read next? So I think it's important to have a daily Bible reading plan that you make sure to stick to and follow. And of course, you can read more than it and you can go ahead, but to make sure you're at least doing a minimum amount of X time a day. There are so many different plans out there. Just search online and find which one best works for you. If you get the Bible app on your phone, you can literally read the Bible 
throughout the entire day. And instead of when you're just waiting on something, instead of scrolling through social media, just get out the Bible app and read the Bible. That's literally just what you can do. Number seven, along with reading your Bible and doing a daily Bible reading plan, do a topical Bible study. Say you're going through anxiety. Do a Bible study about anxiety. When I'm going through anything, this is the only thing that helps me get out of it. I do this every single time I'm going through something. Here I did one about persecuted when I was getting persecuted online. Once I went through this, I realized that being persecuted is being blessed because if people hated Jesus, they're gonna hate you too. And Jesus even said that. So that helped me a Bible study about vanity. I've done apologetics. Oh, we'll get into that later. I've done one about men of God. I did one about temper, about priorities, selfishness, self-control, and following Jesus and his commands. And you can do like whatever topical Bible study you want and ways you can do this. There's a website called bibleinfo.topics. I'll put the link in the description and you can like search a word about like depression and it'll give you a bunch of Bible verses and you can study them and then go in your Bible and read them in context. Number nine, get educated in apologetics. Apologetics have been one of the most life-changing things for me in growing my faith. There is so much evidence for Christianity and that Jesus is the Messiah. Number 10 is the content you are consuming. I have a bunch of content now that I'm consuming and they have helped me so much. Number one is the Bible on audio. They have like an audible on it and you can just listen to the Bible. Like when I'm eating, I'll just listen to the Bible and I highly recommend them. Last but not least for the media is worship music. Anyway guys, those were 10 ways that have helped me in growing my faith and I hope that by me sharing them with you, I hope it helps you grow in your faith as well. If you guys have any video recommendations for next week, you know I love to hear your suggestions, so please comment them down below. I will see you all next week and God bless you all. Bye! Number eight. <laughs> eight, how do you do eight? How do I usually do eight? Eight. No, that's, yeah, that's eight. Yeah, number, wait, five, six, seven, no, that's seven. Oh my gosh. Oh, can you tell I'm dyslexic? <laughs> number eight, oh my gosh.